All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be answering Francis uh, Schmidt's question. So he says, Esteban, when you talk about one interest per ad set, you just exactly mean only one interest or a few inside one ad set? Because sometimes one interest is too small, audience to only use one interest. Okay, um, this is a great question. This is actually a question I get a lot of people asking me. And uh, what I do is just one interest per ad set. So what, most of the times, what I tell people is do audiences that are bigger than 50,000 people sometimes say that they will be smaller for X or Y reason and you will need to use them depending if you're targeting like a really, really specific audience like in a certain city or whatever, you can use it. I'm not saying not to do it. The point is like if you're running like generic things that are in big niches, always use like at least 50,000 people and then you will use one interest per ad set. Um, what other people do is that they join, they they um mix up multiple interests in one ad set but of the same of the same gender so for example one ad set would have the magazines the other ad set would have the um public figures the other one would have the websites the other one would have the associations whatever you name it so then you mix up like five interests per ad set or four but of the same style so then you see which which category is performing the best now you pick the best category and you split it up so that's a different approach um me personally i test one interest per ad set francis and uh if it's too small just mix a couple of them um try to make them in the same category like i mean as long as you're targeting is you're targeting the right group of people your offer your ad is relevant done the right way your offer is relevant your landing page is relevant it's still gonna work really well but personally, this is how I do it because I always like to split test as much as possible. So I like to see what's performing the best, which exact inch one interest is performing the best because I want to scale what's making the most, the most uh, profit. Then I want to kill what's not making profit. So yeah, just one interest, Brad said Francis. I like to keep it simple. Make sure you do your research though. Um, find exactly who your target audience is. Find exactly what type of pages they've liked in the audience insights. And then basically all you want to do is the, um, test, test, test. I launched the campaigns with four interests per campaign, four ad sets per campaign, four interests, one per ad set. If you are not really sure of the targeting, what you can do is launch the same campaign, but more interests, um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, as much as you want. It really depends on your budget. I personally launch them at $10 a day, but uh, you can launch them at five bucks per day as well for ad set. And, um, see what's performing, see what's not performing. And once you see what's performing, then you will just do more research, find more interests like that and keep testing them out until you find like the best interests that are working for you. But at the end of the day, like as long as you are right, align the right offer with the right audience, it's not rocket science, it's gonna convert. Um, and regarding the objective, I use the website conversions objective um, pretty much always. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it. Keep it simple, advertising is all about lighting the right offer with the right audience. And once you're able to do this, you're gonna get amazing results. So keep it simple, Francis. Um, hope this answered your question. I will see you on the next video.